I crashed my motorcycle and now I can't walk. What happens after an accident in Egypt? How are the hospitals? How is the care? There's a lot of people on the streets. Immediately you have about 20 people around you. Um, people were speaking in Arabic to me. I don't speak that much Arabic. I'm not in the zone to be communicating. My leg is open. There's skin on my shoe, on my boot. I took a video of. It is pretty graphic. Be warned. We stopped a taxi, so you're not probably going to get an ambulance here. That's not the most efficient way. Taking the taxi there through traffic in Egypt, a lot of cars, you know, honking, like... The facilities, I think, were... Well, it could have been cleaner. There was flies, you know, zooming around in there. The stitches and um, the x-rays, all of that came to around. So let me tell you a little bit about what happened first. I recently got back from Bali. I'm very happy to be back in Egypt and in Cairo, uh, where I live, have an apartment, a motorcycle. I've been really happy to be back with my motorcycle, but perhaps I was a little bit too cocky about my driving and going a little bit too fast. Here in Egypt, if you are not aware, you have to be very you have to have quick reflexes you have to be very aware of your surroundings because people there are no lanes that people drive in people don't signal they will turn out into the road they will stop suddenly they'll pull over manner of unexpectedness you should expect the unexpected so I know that but again I was getting cocky with my driving and I have been driving around for a while since I got back to Egypt but the other day so a few days ago now I got into this accident and I have been recovering um, I wasn't recording when the accident happened. I didn't have my GoPro on me. I wasn't having my camera. I was just driving around running errands and then planning to go home. Uh, so I don't have any recording, but I can definitely describe the scene. It happened in downtown Cairo, very near to Talat Harb Square, which is close to the Hayr Square and the Egyptian Museum. Uh, I was following Uthama on his motorcycle and a lady stopped very suddenly uh, without warning, of course, normal. <laughs> Usually I am prepared for that with my driving. I'm following a good distance behind. I'm not going super fast. But she stopped suddenly. Usama was following pretty close, but not so fast. He stopped and I did not have enough time to stop. I didn't fully use my foot brake. I, you know, this was definitely partially my fault, partially her fault as well for stopping suddenly. She got a fine for that. But Yes, I, I crashed into Uthama and thankfully he's okay, his bike is okay, my bike is okay, my leg not so much. So I injured my leg and no broken bones, alhamdulillah, <laughs> thank god, no, no broken bones, my head's fine, but my leg hit the back pedal of Usama's bike where the passenger would put their feet and went pretty deep into my my leg uh, i'll show a photo of that though so it didn't hit the bone it didn't hit any nerves as far as i'm aware <laughs> the doctors have said it's fine as far as the nerves go but it definitely was painful and it all happened very suddenly of course after smashing into sama even though i was breaking uh fell off the bike moved from the bike from my memory and then looked down at my leg which is now bandaged up here and i saw this big gash and white and blood pooling up and was like ah! <laughs> the sounds that one makes after an accident the involuntary sounds is hilarious in retrospect <laughs> so yeah <clears throat> looked at my leg, you know, there's a lot of people on the streets. Immediately you have about 20 people, Egyptians around you. Um, people were speaking in Arabic to me. 
I don't speak that much Arabic. I'm looking at my leg. I'm not in the zone to be communicating. And so the people are trying to talk to me and then realizing, oh, telling each other I could understand them. Oh, she doesn't speak Arabic. And uh, a girl tried to like take a napkin and like put it on my leg, which I was like, no, like get your napkin away from my leg. First of all, it's gonna be painful. Second of all, I don't know how clean that is. Um, Usama is dealing with, you know, there's a police officer there suddenly and the, the driver that stopped. Um, it was pretty chaotic. Uh, we stopped a taxi, so you're not probably going to get an ambulance here. That would is not the most efficient way if you get into uh, an emergency situation and you need to go to the hospital. You'll get a taxi. So we stopped the taxi, picked me up, put me in the taxi, and we drove to Hillel Hospital, which was just the closest hospital from the accident. You know, I, there's lots of hospitals in Egypt, and there's definitely better hospitals, but. My, my leg is open, there's, there's skin on my shoe, on my boot from the accident. Um, it's not pretty, so we're just trying to get to a close nearby hospital as quickly as possible. So taking the taxi there through, you know, traffic in Egypt. <laughs> Even as I'm sitting on the cement waiting before I got put into the taxi, a lot of cars, you know, honking, like they can't see what's happening, what's going on, get out of the way. People are moving the motorcycles off to the side. So we jumped in the taxi, me and Usama, we'll come back for the motorbikes, talk to the police, whatever, let's go, yalla. Head to Hila Hospital, arrive there. They brought out a little bed, wheeling, you know, mobile bed, got put onto that went to the orthopedic area. I have to say, I don't think this hospital is the best one on earth. It didn't look extremely clean or the lights were quite dim, um, whatever, you know, it is what it is. You just need some help. <laughs> they checked my bones, you know, moving my foot. Can you do this? Okay, it looks like, you know, the movement's okay. Maybe nerves are all right. Was brought in for x-rays. They checked that, no broken bones and then I was moved to the operating room to get surgery. And the surgery uh, room, well, there was flies, you know, zooming around in there. Um, I <laughs> had a, like a gauze, a piece of cotton, which I hadn't put on top of it because I just didn't want anything on it, but I covered it after I saw the flies because <laughs> one landed on my leg close to the wound. Um, after a while, the surgeon came in. They numbed up the area with some local anesthetic, with a needle. The, at least they were wearing gloves and the tools were in plastic, you know, but I, in the beginning, going into that room and seeing the flies, I was like, well, that's comforting. Mm. <laughs> but yeah, they stitched me up, which I took a video of. It is pretty graphic, be warned. So if you do not want to watch that, Maybe stop watching here or skip ahead about 20, 30 seconds, but let's roll that. I don't think I'm fully numb. So of course I could still feel the stitches. Um, for the most part I couldn't, but you know, it's, it's never completely painless. I could feel the needle going into my skin, especially in the upper right area. Um, 
But they patched me up, they stitched me up. Uh, I don't know how many stitches. There's a layer with dissolvable and then the upper layer is not. So I have to go back in two weeks to get that taken out. Um, but yeah, that's that was the experience at the hospital. You know, I have been to a hospitals abroad before, like in Vietnam, also not a great experience. Um, not the best quality of care compared to, you know, hospitals in the US, for example. But the surgeon did his job well and, you know, the staff were good. It was more the facilities, I think, were, well, it could have been cleaner. <laughs> but at least, you know, it wasn't very expensive, uh, especially when compared to the U.S. Oh my God! In the U.S., they would have called an ambulance. An ambulance would have costed a thousand, two thousand, maybe more, just to pick you up and take you to the hospital. Not to mention the emergency room fees, X-rays, which can cost hundreds of dollars each, possibly. Um, in total, with everything, and this is including the taxi ride, and. Uh, you know, like a tip to ensure they do a good job, you know, which may or maybe not have been necessary, but it's the way things work here. Um, and the stitches and like cleaned it, of course, they put antiseptic and some saline before stitching it. Um, the x-rays, all of that came to around 60 US dollars and it would have been cheaper, but there was a foreign charge, which is yeah, no, another thing, neither here nor there, but I am pleasantly surprised with the, the cost compared to, you know, what it could have been. Maybe another hospital would have costed more, I'm sure, something with better facilities. This was a public hospital, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Hillel Hospital, near Ramsey's Station or something like that. Anyhow, I was told not to stand on my leg for a week. Um, maybe I'll, it'll be more time, we'll see, I don't, I want it to heal completely, I don't want any post-injury, you know, type issues, so I'm off my feet for a while, then go back and get the stitches taken out, but yeah, could have been worse, I'm very lucky that I am, don't have any broken bones and my head is okay, I'm very, very happy about that you know and i have been in an accident before in egypt actually when i first bought my bike about i don't know a year and a half more than a year and a half ago i as soon as i bought my bike about a month later i crashed it and this was me when i was first learning how to drive i started getting comfortable getting a little cocky i didn't crash into anyone i was just going too fast in the turn my first accident and realized I was going too fast, slammed on the brakes, and <sighs> wiped out. So at, that accident wasn't too severe, less severe than this one. I just um, really injured my, my leg, <laughs> but it was just scrapes and bruises, no deep gash um, like this time. So, so this will be my second accident. Eh, check me, you know, but slow down, <laughs> you know. Um, normally I do drive quite cautiously here in Egypt. I mean, I'm still weaving in and out of traffic and all of that, you know, but uh, I think I was getting a little bit cocky. I was happy to be back with my motorcycle, happy to be back in Cairo, and I was just going too fast, so yes. Anyways, I'm okay. Mashallah. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. And I hope to be recovering soon. By the time I upload this, it might have been a while since I'm actually recording it, so hopefully I will be okay to get out there and make more videos. Don't worry, I'll be driving safely and slowly <laughs> from here on out um, once my, my leg heals. But of course, I am bedridden for a while. I'm stuck inside, so yeah. Be careful when you're driving out there, if anyone's driving a motorcycle anywhere in the world, but especially here in Egypt, as you all know, the traffic in Egypt is extra. So, thank you so much for watching. Happy to be back in Egypt. Sucks to have the, that accident happen, because <laughs> I definitely was looking forward to running around and making more videos about Egypt. I have a lot of things I want to make. Uh, about Egypt, but here we are. So, all right, guys, check out my other videos. Stay tuned for what's coming next, and I will see you on the next one.